All right, today we are looking at Doomsday Excruciator. This is a six black pip card that on ETB, if we cast it, each player exiles all but the last six cards of their library. It's essentially Doomsday uh, for both players. Uh, at the beginning of our upkeep, we draw a card, which uh, should help us eventually win. Uh, but if it uh, does not, will cause us to deck first. Um, so we kind of need to set this guy up a little bit specially. Now, there was a combo shown on YouTube earlier uh, in this spoiler season by Mono Black Magic, who looked at this uh, little combo in standard. Uh, so what we're looking at here is Doomsday, Ex Doomsday Excruciator plus Altar of Dementia. If we basically get our opponent to have only six cards in their library, and then we Altar of Dementia sacrificing our Doomsday Excruciator, they will have zero cards left in their library, and they will die in their next draw phase. Uh, that's literally all we're trying to do here. So uh, we just basically need to figure out how we're going to have an Altar of Dementia and then make six black mana. Now, one way that's really good to do that is with our Somberwald Sage. Uh, for two and a green, we're basically getting a black lotus on a creature, um, but for only creature spells. Uh, so we're going to basically use this to create three of the black, use to cause to cast Doomsday Excruciator, and then we have to find out how we're making the rest of this mana. Assemble the team and Demonic Tutor are going to help us find all these cards together, but the other uh, fast mana that we have is going to be Dark Ritual here in Timeless. We also have Orcish Bowmasters, uh, Birds of Paradise here. Uh, the Orcish Bowmasters is just food for Phyrexian Tower, of which we'll probably end up running uh, two more copies of because we do need to have this early. Um, but Phyrexian Tower is going to be able to convert some of these guys, uh, these small creatures that we're going to have into this deck, into actual uh, advantage later. So Birds of Paradise, obviously a good way to get one free black pip for us. Orcish Bowmasters can add up to uh, two more with Phyrexian Tower. Somberwald Sage... Uh, can be another way to get three. So between that and our lands, we should have a pretty uh, fair chance of getting Doomsday Excruciator out. So like I mentioned before, Demonic Tutor and Assemble the Team will find our combo pieces. We're pretty much looking for these three right here. Altar Dementia, Somber Old Sage, and Doomsday Excruciator. Um, of course, the situation will dictate how uh, true that is. And then for the rest of the game, we need to kind of just control what our opponent's doing, make sure that we aren't going to die. So this is going to involve playing Shieldred's Edict, Bowmasters is not only mana advantage, but also uh, some card draw hate. Go for the throat, fatal push for removal. We have Vexing Bobble to prey on Storm if we do run into any of that kind of stuff. Pretty much it's only Ruby Storm in uh, Historic and Timeless. And then we have Thoughtseize at the hand. We are Well, I guess uh, Vexing Bobble also helps with Omniscience. Uh, and then uh, we have Thoughtseize as well. In the mana base, we do get a Fell the Profane here in order to destroy target creature or Planeswalker. We have two Cavern of Souls, which are basically just here in case we're playing a deck that has a lot of permission, and we need to name likely Demon, Human, or Druid uh, are going to be the three options. All of our creatures have unique types, so we basically just need to decide which card needs to hit the battlefield at the point in time. So that is Excruciator Mill. Hopefully we'll be able to get some games with it today. Uh, no way to really figure that out other than to hop into round one and make it happen. This episode of Full Control MTG is brought to you by Patreon and your viewership. If you want to support the channel financially, the Full Control MTG Patreon is the best place to do so. With the Shockland tier, you get access to videos as soon as they are recorded and edited. Don't wait to get your hands on another Full Control MTG deck list. Otherwise, it's your support for the channel that keeps me going. Thanks for being here and enjoy the video. All right, opponent took a little bit of a while to get into the game here, but we've kept a pretty decent hand. Uh, it sets up a pretty early Altar of Dementia and then gets the Lord over our opponent with these cards. Um, Pelt Collector means that we probably want Orcish Bowmasters online somewhat soon, but Fatal Push that we drew is going to help us through that, so that is fine. I think a Somberwald Sage is perfect in this situation. Um, of course, this is something that does not do very well against another Orcish Bowmasters, but we'll uh, hope that we don't have to see that today. Let's see what opponents got next. Blue green, kind of interesting. And it's Curious Obsession of all things. That is a big surprise for me. Okay. So I can hold up an Orcish Bowmasters. I can also hold up Fatal Push and play a Birds of Paradise. Will they play a land? They'll play a Pawpotch Recruit. Um. So basically, if I 
cast Bowmasters or Fatal Push, one of these things is getting bigger, which is awkward. Um, I can almost Phyrexian Tower plus uh, do something else. A Birds of Paradise seems kind of okay. And this is just creatures, so I can still thought seize them. I think I have to play Phyrexian Tower and go into Bowmasters. We'll just do it on the draw. But then double trigger on Paw Patch Recruits, that's a problem. This is kind of like going to end up being like some naughty situation for me. Uh, either way, I think I go Phyrexian Tower. I think we'll drop the Bowmasters now. Uh, we will allow Paw Patch Recruit to trigger. They will get a counter on the Pelt Collector. Uh, that is just some damage that we should be able to bounce back from. Probably going to try to get Somberwald Sage out sooner rather than later. That helps me for Birds of Paradise mana. Then we can use the rest of our stuff for Thoughtseize Fatal Push. Targeting it with something. Elusive Otter, they're going to make a big Pelt Collector. I suppose we will not block here. We'll be able to deal a damage make our token a little bigger. That is a Force Straw. Children's Edict is beautiful right now. Uh, we can also shock a Fell the Profane and do something else. I can also just Fatal Push as well. That's pretty decent too. Um... If I shock, I can go Fatal Push, Altar of Dementia. All right. And we'll even get to attack for three. All right, 11, 10. Seems pretty decent. If we can just get to our six mana, we will be able to kill our opponent. And of course, we also do need the, uh, the Doomsday Excruciator. Uh, Edict online still. Curious Obsession comes down. Thinking that the Edict might be a good idea. We can do that in their next upkeep. There goes uh, Curious Obsession. Nice. Yeah, I got to play that on the turn that you attack, unfortunately. That turns off some card advantage for them. So now for us, it's just trying to make our combo work. There's a Dark Ritual. Eventually, we will be able to do something with that. For now, it's just Somberwald Sage, and we pass. So as soon as we can find the card that we need, we get to go off. Otherwise, uh, we sit here with Overfish Bowmasters and hopefully eat our opponent a little bit. I suppose I can rip a Thoughtseize pretty soon, but I'm a little bit worried about um, Elusive Otter. Pelt Collector, okay. I mean, these things are bad if they are able to attack freely, but thankfully they cannot. Find another land here. I'll drop the Bop, and then we'll probably hold up Shieldred's Edict. I might Thoughtseize here just to check for counter magic. See what's in that hand. Memory Lapse is fine. Um, and then that will be our redraw. We now have Shieldred's Edict, either now or in their upkeep. I think I don't really care what they do just yet. Uh, we will not be attacking. We pass. Uh, and I will wait until they attack or something to do my Edict. Okay, and I guess we're just going to win the game here after sitting and staring at our opponent. We were able to stall out the game, just weren't able to draw into our combo piece. Still decent, we'll take it. Uh, we're slowly moving out of gold here at the beginning of the new season. Let's move to round two. All right, here we go, next round. All right, um, so Birds of Paradise is gonna have to be our acceleration. Dark Ritual can get us a slightly early Doomsday Excruciator. No untapped green source, which I'm not the happiest about, but it's a fine thing. And we also got a draw here, so maybe we'll find what we want. I can fell the profane into thoughts he is, or more likely I'll just go under run mortuary and pass. If I get an untapped land, that might change things, but we'll see. Opponent sitting here on this breeding pool. 
Um, we see breeding pool. This could uh, indicate show and tell, but they're probably not doing that on turn one. So I'm going to set up a Thoughtseize Birds of Paradise turn. We would like Altar of Dementia. That's going to be all the cards that we need here. I guess I kind of got lucky there because a black source into Dark Ritual could have gotten them show and tell. Pay of Wishes, yeah. So definitely looking like show and tell here. We will uh, go ahead with the aforementioned plan. We shock, we go bop, we go thought seize. And will we find it? We actually just see Chalice of the Void here, which is very interesting. Glaring Flesh Raker, okay. I think that Chalice of the Void is probably the more scary thing. Uh, we're scared of them taking my Dark Ritual. We're also scared of them taking uh, all of my twos. So we have enough to cast a Doomsday Excruciator next turn. We'll probably just go Altar of Dementia Demonic Tutor. I could maybe get a second Dark Ritual. So I'll have to play the Founding the Third Path. I don't know if they plan to mill me or not. And if I think that their hand is just not going to be able to kill me, I could also just power out the Doomsday Excruciator next turn. That also is a plan. We're not blocking this. All right, I think I'm pretty much set to go ahead here. We can go Alter of Dementia. And then I guess we can go, if that resolves, we can go Demonic Tutor for Cavern of Souls. And then we have Protected Doomsday Excruciator. I think I like that plan. All right, so we're going all in here. There's a Cavern of Souls. And uh, we will not play the Cavern. All right, we pass. And uh, potentially, this is going to be the combo next turn. Can we resolve it? Or do we die? Well, we don't die to show until Omniscience combo here, unless those are the final two cards in hand. Even then, I don't think the rest of their cards can kick them off well enough. So what will it be? I think that uh, Chalice on one hurts me very badly here. We just see Oracle of the Alpha. And also, I just realized that uh, for some reason, my graphics are not all the way. Sorry about that. Uh, but we are fixed now. And it looks like they're going to be left with just the Hedge Mace here. So I think we might have it. We'll take our damage, go to 11, and here it is. So we'll go Cavern of Souls. We will do this on um, Demon, and we will go Dark Ritual here. This leaves us three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll be able to check with a Thought Seize right ahead. That is correct. All these things produce black. All right, so Thought Seize, and we know that we would like to take a land more than anything else. Now here's a Doomsday Excruciator. We've cast it so everyone exiles all their stuff, but we have Altar of Dementia, so we get to target them, sacrificing Doomsday Excruciator. Then we pass our turn, and they are dead, completely decked. All right, cool. We did the combo. That was really all that we needed to show this uh, series, so we have three more games of trying to make it work again. Let's get after it. All right, let's go. Next one. So, I mean, we have the Altar of Dementia. We do have some mana here, and then we have some cards that will help us control the game. I think that that's a keep for me. We get to start, so I'm thinking that we can maybe spare ourselves two life. We're already going to be taking two with Thoughtseize, so taking another two with the Overgrown Tomb seems a little bit aggressive, especially if we need to use uh, our Shock on this turn two to like do something with Bowmasters. Of course, we will see. They have Shipwreck Marsh. I think that I am probably happy to Thought Seize this turn, possibly next. I can also Bowmasters uh, this next turn, possibly. I think I'm going to rip the Thought Seize now because I can shock the tomb if I really need to for a Dark Ritual. So what does the opponent have here? Possibly something that costs zero mana. 
it would appear. What are we doing here? This is Commandeer exiling two cards. So they're going to take something from my hand. How interesting. Agent of Treachery Mind Flare. Okay, so they're just basically trying to reanimate some things, I think. Sounds good. So we have to avoid any reanimate. Too bad we don't have Surgical. That'd be a great hit for us. Um, is it target permanent? It is. So that's going to be really awkward. At least Alter Dementia can allow us to sack our board pretty quickly. So that part's nice. Now I think that I'm going to try to pressure them somewhat early. We may want to just uh, ritual into Bowmasters here. This also now means that they can't play a creature. Okay. I think... Uh, that was definitely not what I meant to do. I meant to play uh, Bowmasters anyway, but now we have the opportunity of holding up even more. Not great, not not bad, but we'll see if this uh, decision ends up costing me. Soured Springs, okay. So we are potentially doing something with ETB lands. Let's drop this Bowmasters. Deal the damage to them. And now we get to move to our turn. Here's a Birds of Paradise. I'd like to have that out. And we will attack in with everything. Just try to make sure that we can do our best here. And it is gain, control, target, permanent. These will trigger regardless. Um, can they get any of these things in yet? Mind Flare is going to be a little bit later. So we want to hold up Mana for Shield or Edict for if they hard cast the Mind Flare. So I will this turn then do my uh, Alter Dementia. Now this only bites me if they have exactly Dark Ritual. All right. Let's take that risk here. And now we wait with Bated Breath to see if their next card is going to be Dark Ritual or any sort of mana positive spell. Eighty-eight cards, so big deck here. What exactly is the theme, and would this happen to be, for example, this actually might be a commander deck of all things? Are there exactly ninety cards here, or exactly a hundred cards here? Uh, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, this actually. Actually, I would see 99 here. So they have a card. Yeah, actually, this might just be someone's commander deck. There are exactly 99 cards here. <laughs> okay, how interesting. Um, we'll play a Birds of Paradise here, and then we'll get in. Looks like they're holding another Commandeer or something like that. We're going to attack in. They go to 13. What a weird game we're playing right now. Uh, start of the season in gold, never failing to disappoint. Now they got something to play. Is it going to be a Mind Flare or something else? It, this is really just feeling like Commander right now. And my deck should be capable of uh, way more than this. But once again, we are just a Doomsday Excruciator away from winning the game, so can't really complain. And okay, I guess uh, we're just continue, continuing to do this, aren't we? We'll take every draw I can get. It'll be Jadar, Ghoul Caller of Nefalia. Beginning of your end step, make some zombies. I think this is the card that I would like to shield your Z-Dict on. I wonder if that's bait. We will see. I like being able to attack. Let's continue to be able to attack. Maybe some counter magic coming in here. This will be three steps ahead, sure. So now my attacks don't go as far. Awkward. I will take my turn. A land is about the worst thing that we could possibly get here. We can attack with our 1-1. One, one. We'll pass. And so now we have to deal with a 2-2 two, two attacking us every turn. He does not have an attack trigger. Mirror Hall Mimic is going to copy this Jadar possibly. No, that would be a legend rule. So I guess they're taking my Bowmasters. Oh, it'll be a Birds of Paradise. How interesting. Okay. I could have always sacked my Bowmasters to uh, their Bowmasters ETB. Uh, well, I guess I'm just taking two a turn here. 
I think I am just literally playing someone's commander deck. This is crazy. Um, Bowmasters is nice. We're definitely doing that. Uh, now we can attack all in. All by all in, I mean everything that has power. And they're at nine. I really would like to show off Doomsday Excruciator because that even kills uh, this commander player's deck. Agent of Treachery. Well, that's kind of what I hoped that my uh, Shieldroot's Edict would help me with. Let's see what it'll be. Um, I would hope that they'd target a creature. Uh, I'm going to basically mill them for two now. They probably should have taken the Ultra Dementia. So no permanent to take. That is nice. We'll take our two. Always happy to do that. And I mean, basically now I think we're in the driver's seat. They're going to draw pretty much some random blue or black card. Um, hopefully we will be able to uh, do our thing around that. And uh, yeah, we take it super, super low and slow here. We'll see if their top decks can beat mine. Demonic Tutor. That is exactly what you like to see. We'll take a Doomsday Excruciator. We have exactly enough mana to make it work. So we'll cast that boy, the Doomsday Excruciator. Exile all but the last six of both of our decks. And then let's target them with a Doomsday Excruciator Mill. All right, cool. So that is two times that it's been done. Uh, we will not attack, we will end turn, and opponent dies in their upkeep. Uh, confirming that this is in fact some Esper uh, commander deck with Rafine, I guess, would be the uh, commander of it, or maybe the internal commander. Um, what else was in here? We are not able to see what was in Exile. All right, well, good round three. Here comes round four. All right, it's round four. I guess we'll keep the seven. We have a Vexing Bobble in case that randomly happens to be useful for us. I think we're getting Thoughtseize, though. All right, what will they take? We have a pretty unassuming hand. Ultra of Dementia might look like a combo card to them, so they might get rid of that. Completely, completely fine. I think I'm more happy, uh, seeing as they didn't take the Vexing Bobble, to just play a Birds of Paradise. They probably care less about that Vexing Bobble. All right, let's see if they are Grixis or Jameer. This would suggest the Mirror. Or maybe uh, islands are of value to them, though I think that if they uh, had steam vents, they would have found it. Looks like we're going Tamio into Brainstorm. Doesn't feel super good here. I guess I'm going to be holding up Fatal Push. So we'll go Mortuary. Make sure that we don't tap out. Another Birds of Paradise is good, though I guess I could have milled that over. Um, okay, we pass. I guess I could have committed the Vexing Bobble to the board. It is what it is. And uh, we are not blocking. All right. Going to make sure that they have to wait in order to do their uh, their brainstorm. So I think we go Birds of Paradise, Vexing Bobble here, holding up Fatal Push. And then that can actually just be a card draw, I think. I'm not thinking that Vexing Bobble is going to be super relevant here. Guess they crack their token. Yep, that makes sense. Um, so now in this situation, I think I'm happy to Fatal Push their Tamiya. All right, cool. And we can still crack our Vexing Bobble here. We're doing very, very well on mana. We have access to six next turn already. Okay, let's uh, take our draw here with Vexing Bobble. Shieldred's Edict, decent for control. And there's a Doomsday Excruciator, so uh, all we need to do is find a way to mill out. I mean, I could cast it, but I think that that's either getting hit with Counter Magic or just going to be a bad move all around. If they were to tap out some way, somehow, then uh, we're definitely smacking Doomsday Excruciator and hoping that we can make it work. Um, now, if we actually do end up with a situation like that, where uh, we have to hard cast Doomsday Excruciator without having a way to mill, 
I think in this situation, we're probably losing. Opponent's got a nether goyf. I think that I go shieldred's edict here, trying to get rid of that. Maybe bait out a counter spell, and then we can try to go for Doomsday Excruciator because uh, this thing attacking is not bad. Let's attempt to make them sack this. All right. And we're going to get that for more or less free. They've seen my top. Whatever it is we are playing it. We'll go Demonic Tutor here. Let's see if that resolves. Um, we have a choice of getting Cavern of Souls again, or we could maybe go for, oh, I don't know, probably our other Altar of Dementias. But that kind of feels like something that is prime for getting counterspelled. So maybe I just go ahead and set up here. I'll grab a Cavern of Souls. Uh, we will go Cavern on Demon. And uh, do I just rip a Doomsday Excruciator? Like, can they remove that with their hand? I don't really know. I doubt they could be saving up a thought season. and that's pretty worrying. If I just Doomsday Excruciator them right now, can Nethergoyf come back? How many things are in the graveyard? There are a pretty decent amount of things in the graveyard. Artifact Instant Creature of Land. They can recast it. Hmm. So that doesn't feel super great. We would still have Air Supremacy. I almost want to try rocking the Doomsday Excruciator. Let's play with fire. Here we go. Um, and then we will sacrifice one of our bops. I guess I could have done that with this Dark Ritual. Oh, well. Um, can they put that on top of my library? That could very well be the case. All right, so we're gonna get the trigger. Um, time to see if my deck can win over my opponents. Uh, one piece of removal puts me in a pretty bad spot, but uh, every turn I have the Doomsday Excruciator, I'm doing pretty well. The Scalding Tarn may whiff now, and the Psychic Frog being able to jump is gonna be a little awkward. We'll have to see what is in the rest of our deck here. We don't actually know, it's gonna be blind. Uh, they have been able to search their library now, so they may know what they have. Four cards to four cards here. We do not draw exceptionally well here. Here's a somber walled sage, because why not? I think they're going to try to kill my doomsday excruciator if they can. But if they can tank enough of its damage, then it's fine for them. Attack with the doomsday excruciator, see if they want to jump the frog. Honestly, if they don't jump the frog, it's pretty good for them. Give it flying, and then do they just chuck five cards to it? I think they do. Yeah, I needed removal here. Oh, they're actually going to chump with it. That's very surprising. I thought they were going to uh, just pitch their whole hand to it. All right, so they want me to draw out here. Uh, I have two more draws. That should be enough to uh, almost get me there. Verdant Catacombs, I do not want to be thinning my deck here. Um, unfortunately, if I play my other Doomsday Excruciator, I die next turn. So we're going to basically get them to 10, then to 4, and then we die. Well, uh, it's going to depend on what our last card is. Let's see what it is. Uh, they'll go Orcish Bowmasters here. I'm fine with that. Let's fizzle this. Just do what we can here. And we will draw our final two cards here. I think that almost in all situations we lose this one. Really did just need to find the um, Altar of Dementia. Now our last two cards could contain Altar of Dementia and that has the potential of winning us the game. We will see how lucky we can get. An Overgrown Tomb is not it. We will take a little bit of damage here. We'll continually uh, fizzle their triggers and our final draw is merely a phyrexian tower uh we will uh, go to combat here swing in with the excruciator and then we will take our decking all right well we came somewhat close to be honest but unfortunately not going to be enough um 
after yeah we are definitely attacking here at least just putting them down as much as possible and we say go so i guess we just kind of got unlucky there they had a counter magic to remove the first ultra dementia to be fair it was a pretty brittle line that we went for but uh you know sometimes you just gotta test what it's like to just slam six black mana into a uh, demon uh, so i assume they don't even bother to attack here they win on my upkeep gg's opponent i've died to my own mill all right fifth and final round is coming up next all right last round let's go yeah i mean this has the cards that we need it to have uh i'm not a huge fan of the early cavern of souls but it's doable uh we'll keep seven here i could go cavern on bird but i think that that's not very good we do need to use the uh, doomsday excruciator at some point an island and a lutri all right cool so we're doing uh, essentially commander here now i believe that that means that this somehow is a commander deck i don't know why for the second time in this recording i'm seeing commander decks in here i could have sworn that i'm in uh timeless <laughs> um all right well we'll uh keep going here do i want a second doomsday excruciator and more importantly do i want them to know that i have a doomsday excruciator Let's uh, put the fear of God in them, I guess. I don't know. Uh, either Altar of Dementia this turn or Birds of Paradise or Orcish Bowmasters, I guess. You know what? We'll do this for now. I think I'm going to hold the Bowmasters. So with enough mana, we can just assemble the team into Dementia. And then uh, cast Doomsday Excruciator through Cavern of Souls. I like what we're doing here. Uh, I'm going to hold up Bowmasters to catch a Brainstorm if they decide to go that route. Chirp. And it uh, looks like just Spell Slinger stuff for the most part. We have to respect a lot of counter magic, I think. That's kind of the one thing that I'm not really huge on. Resolving a Bowmasters would feel super, super good, though. Um, again, we're going to wait. We find another altar here, so that is nice. Um, Cavern of Souls. I can put this on Demon. And I can play my Birds of Paradise, and that can cover the uh, colorless cost of Bowmasters. Do they take my Birds of Paradise? That'd be surprising, to be honest um sure now do i resolve a bow masters i'm a little bit worried seeing as they had fiery impulse here maybe i use this time to get an altar of dementia onto the battlefield all right so now that that's resolved i think it's pretty likely that that sticks around and that's the only thing that i can't put in without uh you know without uh, cavern of souls protection so now the name of the game is just to get to six mana I can assemble the team for Dark Ritual. And they've dig through time in their main phase, which is nice for me. I guess they're looking for another land, maybe. I think I use my next turn to Thought Season to assemble the team, if I can find the mana for it. Uh, Bowmasters. So I think it is going to be Thought Season to Bowmasters, except no, I don't have two black mana here. Um, I think it's going to be assemble the team then for a black mana source. Let's see if I'm allowed to have this. Possibly Spell Pierce exists. It does not. Um, and then I think, yeah, it's probably just going to be Tomb here. Tomb Shock. So now this opens us up for... Um, this opens us up to draw a Dark Ritual and win the game. Assuming that the Ritual resolves, that is. So now I'm thinking about how the end of this game works. Um, this doesn't really matter for Orcish Bowmasters. Uh, how the end of this game works is there's going to be a turn where I sit a Doomsday Excruciator onto the battlefield. This is not very good because now I'm going to be off of black mana for a long time. Um, dang. So I guess we're going to have to drop this Bowmasters and hope that it does something. Unfortunately, this is probably going to be a GG for us. I don't think we overcome a Blood Moon here, sadly. Memory Lapse goes on top of my library. 
And yeah, this is going to be a hard one to win now. Uh, we'll take our turn. We draw Bowmasters. That is uncastable. We'll go Alter Dimension number two. And now we have to see how they plan to win. That was a one of Blood Moon here in their Lutri deck, which is kind of crazy. Is this kind of just control then? There's no way that they plan to just win with Lutri. That'd be crazy. Uh, Vexing Bobble is kind of big for me. All right. And then we're probably taking that draw almost 100% of the time. Um, Lutri is a copy, not a copy then cast, right? Yeah, so that doesn't matter. I think we're probably going to just uh, get rid of the Vexing Bobble right away. Try to draw out of where we are. And I just need to be able to destroy an enchantment, which I can do uh, with my... Uh, I basically just need to find uh, Besager. Once I do that, then uh, my game plan is wide open once again. All right. Well, let's take this draw now. Cool. Fell the Profane, not really going to be what we need. Uh, Verdant Catacombs eventually gives me uh, something nice. We're just going to put this in tapped. And then uh, Verdant Catacombs will then become another mountain yet again. We still continue to look for our outs. The game's not over, but it's going to feel pretty over here if they can just resolve like anything. Surprisingly, they're just holding Lutri here, not just playing him as a 3-2. I think that would be a smart move, to be honest. Uh, Somber World Sage now is castable. This gets me halfway to a Doomsday Excruciator. It also does allow me to cast both my Bowmasters. Uh, I think this is probably kill on sight for them. I'm thinking I'm going to have to uh, activate my Altar of Dementia very soon. Way sooner than I meant to. Uh, they're just going to go for the Dig Through Time here, though. I assume that there's a combo somewhere in their deck. They're getting a lot of use of these uh, multi-castable spells, specifically Dig Through Time. <clears throat> right, it looks like Somberwald Sage is going to go the way of the dinosaur. We will uh, mill them for zero. <clears throat> and a Tamio. So Tamio is a problem. Uh, brainstorm is going to brain surge is going to immediately flip Tamio. Would have been really really nice to get a Bowmasters in around there. It is what it is though. And they are topped out of red. Not that it totally matters right now. We're still looking for Besaju. Uh Demonic Tutor would have been nice. <coughs> There's a Verdant Catacombs instead. Uh, we basically need to draw our one of Viseju, one of uh, Basic Swamp. Otherwise, uh, we really don't function very well. We also can uh, get any number of our other Somberwald Sages and we'd be happy. I think that the Tamiya, though, can kind of just loop any of the removal spells, which is going to be a huge problem for us. They will take back the Dig Through Time. I'm glad they chose to do that instead. And they will cast the Dig Through Time, again, tapping out of their blue. Oh, and here's Lutri the Spell Chaser going to copy Dig Through Time. That is 16 mana worth of uh, spell right there. Well, uh, it looks like neither of us are really functioning at the moment. I'm like so close to being able to, which is uh, just so unfortunate. They've been pretty lax about these tapping out situations, so I think that there is going to eventually be a window. We'll just see if I'm still alive by that time. It's a six turn clock. Snow covered island comes down. And they have to discard a hand size. All right, there's the Besaju. We uh, act on their end step. We 
going to brainstorm last minute. You got it. Hopefully just looking to actually move forward a game plan on their side of the board. But we finally have the potential to do something here, which is very exciting. We're worried about not really a thought seize, so that's nice. We're just worried that they don't use all their mana here. I don't know if they're holding counter magic here. So far we haven't seen any. I just really need them to tap out that last five mana. And they might do it. They've kind of shown that they are really just interested in uh, tapping out. License hearse, fine. They can fate seal me or they can brainstorm. They're gonna fate seal me instead, sure. And they'll bottom my top card. Wonder what it was. Guess I'll never know. And they'll attack. We go to 15. Uh, I think that this Poseidu is as good as used now. We're going to take out the Blood Moon. And basically, I just need to find uh, another mana source that's untapped, and then I can win the game. I have five out of six black pips right now. All right, so my Verdant Catacombs is online now. They'll be able to find something. We'll find just an island. All right, time to see if uh, I can get the land that I need. Last surveil of the game. What will it be? Uh, Phyrexian Tower will do it. We're going to attempt a Orcish Bowmasters right now. Let's see if they decide to counter magic this. They will. That is okay. So I think, now let me make sure that I'm doing this right. I can Bowmasters using my green mana. Uh, let me make it black with this. That leaves me with Phyrexian Tower sacking one of the tokens for two, three, four, five, six. This is exactly enough to cast Doomsday Excruciator if it resolves. Let's see if they have two counter spells in hand. All right, looks like we're gonna get that. Um, in terms of the damage, I think we'll just try to uh, get Tamiya from being able to remove anything. Um, so then now we get to go for Protected Doomsday Excruciator, sacking our token. <coughs> Uh, that should enter. They can memory lapse and put it on top, which would be awkward. Yeah, they're going to have a subtlety to do exactly that, sure. So now their fate seal removes my doomsday excruciator. That's pretty tough. Uh, we'll be able to the demonic tutor for another. I mean, I'm going to put it on top. I know that they're going to fate seal it away. It is what it is. It's a forced uh, Jace fate seal for them though which is nice they'll exile two cards that's fine we're not really going to be using our graveyard <coughs> well timed subtlety from them and that was a one of as well so i mean they're really showing that you can actually play to some degree these uh singleton decks in timeless kind of cool but I'm really just struggling here to uh, facilitate my combo so that is uh, definitely part of the reason here uh, now, if they decide to draw a bunch of cards, Orcish Bowmasters at least does ping them a little bit. We'll go to 11 here. I assume that it's a Jace Fate Seal 99. Whoa. All right. Jace the Mind Sculptor. What are we doing here? I mean, if I'm allowed to draw my Doomsday Excruciator, I'm just going right back at it. So kind of interesting. They can maybe return something to my hand. So basically the only window that they have here is while Doomsday Excruciator's trigger is on the stack, they just uh, send it away somehow. And then I can't mill my opponent for the last few cards, but I do have a Bowmasters, which is kind of nice. Okay, so they're gonna Time Warp, then Fate Seal me, sure. All right, and then I think they go for the Lutri, take two turns. That means that Lutri gets to hit four, six. They get to Fate Seal me twice. Okay, so this might be where we lose out here. 
I mean, this definitely doesn't feel like timeless power level, at least as far as the meta is concerned. This is something that I think could actually hang somewhat in historic, which is kind of interesting. Um, I don't really think that the upside of Lutri as a companion in a non-singleton format is really there, though, unfortunately. Jace the Mind Sculptor looping the Lutri. Ah, uh, they take turns with Tamio, Time Warp, Lutri, and Jace. I kind of like that. That's pretty slick. Um, so let's have my opponent do that. Now, how many additional turns are they going to be trying to get here? Take an extra turn. Yep. Yep. Um, I suppose I'm just going to sack my Bowmasters and let my opponent mill me out. Or, like, let them uh, just finish the game without uh, any interruption here. They do, I believe, have a uh, way of gaining infinite turns. They're one mana off right now, but they should be able to cast Time Warp Lutri, then bounce with Jace, and some gain some amount of the Time Warp back. I think they get it back every three turns. So they would just be one negative. So they're, they're not technically taking infinite turns here, though I am going to give them uh, full reign here. We kill them if we're able to draw another card. Maybe they've forgotten about the Doomsday Excruciator on top of our uh, top of our deck. But actually, you know what? We're going to die to Unlicensed Hearst, which is just good enough. Well, fair play to my opponent. Uh, they definitely made this work with a uh, non-standard deck. That's for darn sure. Pretty sweet. Um, I actually really do like this Lutri uh, Time Warp Loop. This must be really good in Commander. Um yeah, pretty sweet. Four card combo is not the best, but not the worst. Definitely commander combos are a little bit more janky, but opponent's going to take us out here in round five. That'll bring us to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, while we did not get the uh, win in combo every round, we did get it a few times, and that's pretty nice. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you want to try the deck list out for yourself, I have it in the video description. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to uh, comment and subscribe. Those things help me out a bunch. And uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for being around. With that being said, that brings me to the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.